Okay, so welcome everyone. This is the Stream Easy Community Meeting on November the 2nd, 2023. So let's see what we have in the agenda. Not that much actually. Uh, is there uh, any open questions, issues that you want to raise before starting with the usual agenda? Something that you want to discuss? I will get the silence as a no. I don't see any PRs or issues uh, in the list. At least I didn't have any specific ones to add to the agenda. If there is any, paste the link there and we can discuss here during the call. Is 9207 a PR rather than a proposal? Yes, this is a PR, so let's move this one from here. Here. Okay, so it was not me adding this. Uh, I don't know if Shubham, Tom or Jakub are on the call, but I don't see them. So anyway, as far as I remember, that PR is about uh, yeah splitting the um, the API uh, project in different packages in sub packages, and uh, so it got approval from Jakub. I have to review actually, and we are waiting for Tom. So if you are interested anyway to um, to have a look at this PR, of course, so we are you are very welcome. Let me add to the agenda that I will go to take another pass. Shabam added a comment as well at the bottom of that um, PR that says update for community call. Yeah, okay. Thanks, uh, Kate. So, yeah, I also see that there are different conflicts. So I guess that uh, yeah, Shubham was talking about these conflicts. So we have to, to review, at least me. I will uh, review again because I had already some comments that Shubham fixed, I guess, in order to move on with this one. Okay, I don't see any more PRs or issues, so let's move to proposal. There is one here. Yeah, which I put it here. It was a fairly new PR uh, created by Jakub last week uh, about adding a new API um, for uh, quotas management, so even for using the Quota plugin uh, from StreamZ, but there is some discussion going on if uh, we should enable to use any other kind of plugins related to quotas management, things like that. There are already some uh, comments, so I guess that uh, I put it there just for uh, uh, making you aware that there is this proposal, and yeah, it would be great if anyone on the call can have a look and uh, provide feedback to Jakub. If no more on this, let's move to the more exciting part, which is the issues triage. So let's start from the first one. Stream is the cluster of reader not creating. Stream is the pod set to giver and Kafka. It looks like Jakob's been chatting to the person who raised this and the logs they've shared aren't complete. Yeah, exactly. I was taking a look uh, early before the call. So I would say that we should... Uh, so it's two weeks old. 
I'm not sure if you want to leave some more time to this user to come back with uh, more useful information or we want just to close it and then uh, saying to the user reopen if you have anything more because anyway this is now two weeks old perhaps we add a comment to say it's been discussed and if nothing's changed by the next community call then we close it because the comment might prompt them to do something okay even if the next community call will be in two weeks but yes agree Okay, so I will leave this as a needs triage. <clears throat> Next one, configurable user credential format. Uh, yeah, I was taking a look here, but it seems that the user uh, was not aware that uh, uh, CA and user CRT were already in pen format because I guess they were, yeah, he was uh, complaining that not all application <coughs> are Java based uh but yeah Jakub said that these are in pen format in format seems not clear from the documentation uh, as the user said I don't know if that's actually true Should maybe review the documentation and see if it see if that aspect does come out clearly. Yes, good point. There is a uh, poll on the call. Paul, I see that you are on mute, but uh, so you are unmuted, but I cannot hear you. Yeah, nothing from me. I can't hear him either. Is the person here saying that the Strimzy docs are unclear, or are they actually just saying that Kafka documentation is unclear, or that there's missing documentation for Strimzy? You are referring to this sentence, right, Kate? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, maybe you are right. So at least as far as I understand, yeah, if your um, understanding is right, it seems that this issue was addressed, right? So maybe we can just close it. Because in the end, Jakub was clear that this uh, CRT and key are in pen format, which is what the user was looking for. He didn't get the right thing from the Kafka documentation, which of course is not our problem, or at least a stream is problem. Uh, Jakub was kind of reinforcing this. So if no one disagree, I would say that this issue is now addressed and we can close it, right? Okay. Okay.
Okay. This one. Uh, yeah, also taking a look to this. Um, still, Jacob beer. It seems that the bug is not a stream Z, but hmm. it's how things work. Paul, I guess that now we can hear you. Yes, I was just testing my <laughs> <laughs> just testing my settings there. Yeah, it seems okay. I'll, I'll okay, move, yeah. yes. Yeah. Anyway, uh, if you are following, the problem was not with the stream Z documentation, it was with the, the Kafka one. So not yeah, something. I saw that resolved. Yeah. Yeah. We have a topic, we delete the topic, we create a new topic with the same name. The same consumer group is used when checking the offset as a negative value. So it was not reset to zero after the topic was deleted. I think this one can be closed. As yes. Resolved. Yeah, closed because it's actually how it works in Skin Kafka, right? Yeah. And I noticed that I am copy pasting the wrong date. Uh, okay, I get back to the other one later. Oh, I should also remove the needs triage label. It was opened by Federico. Do we have Federico on the call? Yes, I'm here and I'm working on this one. Uh, it's kind of tricky, uh, minor bug. Okay. So I don't think that we need the uh, two triage anymore, right? You are already working on it. Yes, correct. I already have a PR open, but it needs some more work on it. Okay, thanks. Okay, let's clear the list a little bit. Announcement, easy way to identify restart of pods delayed by the cluster operator. So, um, yeah, it seems that this user uh, is looking for a way to know that uh, for any kind of reason, um, the, the um, deleting, uh, so restarting some pods is delayed, uh, like for example, when using the, the drain cleaner uh, leaving to the operator the decision if the um, yeah the, the 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 pod can be restarted or not by during the node the node draining. Um, the thing is that uh, right now you should go through the log in order to have this uh, this kind of information. And they were asking about at least some uh, metrics or an alternative some Kubernetes events. I remember that that was uh, already work done uh, around uh, the Kafka roller in order to emit Kubernetes events for the reason why a broker was rolled in the past. Um, so in a such a way, it's the kind of the opposite to so identify why a pod is not restart and it's going to be delayed. That seems to be the understanding that I have on this. Uh, I will say that maybe this needs anyway a proposal, at least in order to discuss. It seems to be a useful uh, 
uh, things to have, even because going through the log for an admin, of course, is not the great thing to 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 do, even because they are mentioning using to deploy streams, which is great uh, for several hundreds of Kafka cluster into more than 100 Kubernetes cluster. So what the others' opinions are? Yeah, I agree that this sounds like a useful feature. Um, when we were testing out rolling updates for Craft the other day, we were having to scroll through the log to check that the operator was actually doing it, that like had actually noticed that it was going to do um, a restart. So it does feel like an area that could be improved to me. But I agree that um, it's complicated enough that a proposal is probably needed. And I guess we need to decide yeah, how it fits in with the new Kafka roller proposal as well. Whether it sits separately to Kafka roller or not. Uh, do you have the link to the Kafka roller proposal, uh, Kate? Or, well, uh, it's already open, right? Uh, yeah, I can see. Uh, I'm looking for that. Uh, did it already get merged? Oh, place? yes, right. It was the number. I can't see it in closed places. Well, anyway, uh, if it was already merged, uh, thinking more, it means that anyway, we need the new one uh, or not going to update that one, right? Maybe it's better taking this separated by the one that you already have got merged. Maybe like this. Yeah. So we have needs proposal and let's leave out needs triage. Stream the temp there is too small. Yeah, I was following the discussion between the user and uh, Jakub. Of course, it seems that this is just a user so a user use case where they need a bigger temporary folder. And of course, we cannot have this changed by default and change every time some user come with a better value, which fits uh, better the use case they have. Uh, so maybe I would say that we can just close it, right? Yeah, also considering that there is a workaround that you have suggested. Yeah.
the operator only uses empty dir, doesn't it? If you don't configure, oh, the operator, not Kafka. So. Is that okay? Yes. I need to triage. Okay. Image for Kafka exporter and TLS sidecar are out of sync. Uh, so I had a quick look and it seems that the problem is just maybe about documentation where things are not clear. Because if we go here and I lost the issue, sorry, let me back. So we have this note. Okay, adding a note that not setting the image. Well, depend on this version, but will not affect the other ones. And the same in the zookeeper. So Paul, do you think that uh, you can uh, get time in order to take a look at this comment and see if we can improve the doc? Yes, for sure, yeah, I can take a look at that. Let's leave out the mystery ash. Okay. Cannot add an additional variable for JMX to the broker. I would like to know how to expose the broker JMX outside the Kubernetes cluster. So it's looking for adding some more information when using JMX. This is my configuration. Stream is it zero one zero. Yeah. Let's hope that it's a typo. So actually it's not clear to me because from the Jakub's comment, it seems that everything is fine on the user side.
I don't know, it seems to me there, there is nothing to do from this point of view. And the issue is uh, anyway old, two weeks old. Any other opinion, thoughts? Or just leaving the user more time to come back to Jakob? Something's ringing a bell in my mind about this. I think I might have been here before. Um, I can't lay my hands on the resource I need to look at to, to know if I've got something I can add to this, um, to this issue. So do you want to add something on this kit? I, something's ringing a bell in my mind about this. I, I've been down this this path before, so I might have something to contribute. I, I don't know for certain at the moment. Oh, I can certainly take a look offline and, and comment ah, okay. uh, back on the issue again. Okay, so you're okay if I tag you here? Yeah, that's absolutely fine, yeah. yeah thanks. Is this okay, how I'm writing? That's this, fine, yeah. Okay. Uh, not sure if we want to leave any way for the next community call as triage or, uh, or not. Well, if you are going to take a look, maybe let's remove now from this triage and then if we need again <coughs> to triage, we will add the, the label again. Or maybe you can add the label again if you want to discuss more on the next uh, community call after your investigation. Okay? Will do. Yeah. Thanks. Stream this up for SAS for tire storage remote log metadata common client. One issue related to tire storage remote log metadata common client is how to specify this in the config. So there is already an issue covering tire storage support. Why well, we need another one? Okay, so I guess that we can just go and close it or because today is waiting for the user just to agree on this, but I would say let's close because we already have an issue about the tire storage and the user uh, yeah, can discuss on the other one. Let me just look at if I can find the issue. Tire storage support, this one. Uh, does it make sense? Yes. Okay, and I guess the last one, because this one we decided to take it open. This is pretty new, one hour ago from Kate. 
Yeah, this came up because I've been looking at updating the Grafana dashboard for Kafka Connect, the one we provide in the example. And one of the things I wanted to do, I realized that the there was a feature available in a newer version of Grafana that would let me tweak one of the visualizations to display something nicer. So I was then having a look at the Grafana version that we recommend or supply. So in our example files, we have a Grafana YAML, which uses a Docker image 737. And I'm assuming that's the version of Grafana that we've tested the dashboards against. I don't know if we state anywhere in the docs that that's the version. And when I updated to the latest version, just to see what the dashboards would look like, a bunch of the visualizations are deprecated and I guess in a future version wouldn't work anymore. So I raised this issue. Yakos pointed out they have changed their license in newer versions of Grafana. So 7.5.17, which is quite close to the version we are using, 7.3.7, is still Apache license, but the newer versions are all AGPL. So we need to decide do we update or do we stay on the older version? I don't know whether our customers are likely to update to the newest version of Grafana, but if they do, at some point, our example Grafana dashboards will just stop working, presumably, because some of the graphs will be removed. Yeah, so... Taking into account that our Grafana dashboards are just examples. Yeah, it's, it means that we are not providing support for them, but anyway, it's, it's good that they work in general. So I would agree that they should work. So if they are not going to work with the newer version of Grafana, we should use a new one instead of this older one. They do work with 10.2 you just get warnings saying that some of the visual, like, well, at least I haven't tried the other dashboards. The connect dashboard works with 10 too. It just provides warnings saying that some of the visualizations have been deprecated. Yeah, They're which deprecated. which means that at, at some point, maybe they will be kind of removed and not supported anymore, right? So if we yeah. don't move now, we will have to move later. Yeah. Because they will stop to work. Uh, we 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 mentioned it once in the docs for the Grafana image version. Uh, I, I spoke with QE about this um, a few releases ago, and they 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 advised to just keep uh, using the latest. So I don't know whether they have any opinion on this. I don't think we have anyone from QE here. So do we want to, I will, so let's say, let's take this open in order to have further discussion, I think, and if someone even from QE can jump into the discussion. So Paul, you you say that you test they tested with the latest Grafana, right? And uh, using the, this old version seven, but with the new. Uh, uh, I'm not sure. Event. I'm not sure what they test on. Uh, it's just that I I need I need, I just was looking for some advice on what version to include in the docs, and uh, I was advised just to check with um, with what the latest uh, stable release of Grafana is and use that. So what version do we list in the docs currently? Well, I, I'm yet to update it for the for the next release, but I think it's ten zero three at the moment in my in the in the uh, draft docs. Okay, because um, the version that I've put there is the version that's listed in the Grafana.yaml file that's in the examples folder in the repo. So. I followed the instructions in the docs. I don't know where in the docs we've put the version of Grafana, but I followed the instructions in the docs for how to enable the example Grafana dashboard, and that's the version that I ended up using. 
Uh, the version you mean uh, the 10.2.0 or the one that we have in the YAML? Sorry, I'm confused. So 10.2 is the latest stable version. <laughs> that you decided to use, right? Okay. Yeah. And the version that I ended up using when I was just following the instructions is 7.3.7. Yes, because it's here, right? Yeah. Um, in the issue that I raised, I put 10.2.0 just because that's the latest stable version of Grafana. While Paul, you are saying that it was zero, uh, 10, zero something, right? Yeah, that's downstream. Uh, I don't know what we have in the upstream docs, if anything. Yeah. Anyway, the problem that we have is that something is now deprecated with, with 10 in our Grafana dashboard that maybe it's going to be removed in the future. So we have to make a decision if we want to move uh, uh, the version supported here in our Grafana to be yeah, kind of uh, close to the ones uh, that are the, the, the latest. So 10 something. Uh, I will say to leave this open in order to have more async discussion on this instead of making a decision right now, right? To see even uh, what the other maintainers think. Uh, so other than me having even Tom and uh, Lukas, Maros, together with Paul, and make a decision. Yes. Is there a CNCF dimension to this? Do they have like lists of permitted licenses? Does that affect what streams you can and can't do? That's a good question, and I don't know the answer, to be honest. I will say Quick. the thing I wasn't sure on is how it works for licensing, given that we're not as far as I know, shipping Grafana, mm -hmm. what we're providing is configuration files for Grafana. But I guess they're generated by Grafana, so I don't know how the licensing works there. Yeah, so in general, this dashboard was, uh, was made using Grafana and then we saved the JSON, right? So at that time it was made by using this version and uh, it was not changed or it, it was changed across different streams release. Yeah, maybe that's something that we can add here on the, in, the, in, the, in the comment. So let me just get again the right text for discussion. Um, so let's say Does it explain what you meant, uh, Kit? It does, yeah. I actually put a link. There's actually a, a link to an allowed licenses uh, put in the meeting chat. Uh, let me see. Meeting chat. If I could find the meeting chat when you are sharing the screen here, everything disappear. So. Chat, 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 chat. Okay, I was able to do that. I think Kate's point was a good one about the difference between including config and including components as well. But all that can come out at a subsequent mm -hmm. discussion, can't it?
Well, surely our project must have Grafana dashboard, so we can just check what they're doing. Kate, there is anything that you want to add? Uh, is it right what I just wrote, what you meant? Yeah, I'm happy. Okay, any other opinion on, uh, on this? Seems not. So let's continue the discussion, I think, here and remove its triage. Not this one. Uh, okay, we left this open uh, to discuss in two weeks. So back to the agenda, we are at the end. Any other business? Just one question, Paolo. How will we know to go back to that issue now it doesn't have a triage flag on it anymore? How will we remember to find it? Well, in general, uh, triage, we, we use triage to discuss in, in order to understand if that bug, that uh, new feature makes sense. And then uh, starting from there, when we agree that, uh, okay, let's leave this issue open, so not close it, uh, and we remove triage, actually that issue will live in the backlog until someone will, uh, will, will get to that, to work on it, or uh, we will just leave that open as something that makes sense, as a bug to address as a new feature, but maybe we don't have a room to, to work on it, uh, we need some help. Uh, actually, during this um, uh, triage, we didn't use any kind of, for example, needs help uh, tech that in general we use for something that uh, we want to address, but we don't have the, the so we have so already enough load to work on, so we want someone else uh, helping us, but the issue will just go in, into the backlog. So we'll, we'll not discuss that anymore until someone want to work on that issue Maybe he wants to discuss again on a community call and then he can add again the needs triage uh, label. But in the end, when we remove the needs triage, it means that we have make a made a decision on that issue and it just came back to the backlog. Right. I thought it just in that in the case of that particular issue, the, the license issue, I thought we wanted to discuss it again next next week. That was ah, all. OK, good point. That's my point. Uh, so does it need to be put on the agenda for next week or something for next time or um, or something? Well, I'm just thinking. It yeah, it depends forgotten. if we want to discuss again. So if Kate is fine, we can discuss again next uh, uh, community call or just leave it there and continue the discussion on the issue. So. If we think that uh, it's worth to discuss again, I can re-add again the, the, the needs triage label. Let me re-add that then. Okay. There is anything else? Okay then, I think that we are done. So have a nice day everyone. See you next call. 
Thanks, everyone. Bye. Thank you, Barrow. Thank Thanks you. very much. Bye, all. Cheers. Bye.